Hello everybody and welcome back to SnowRunner. So today we are working again on the logging missions. Not really much logging though. We are mostly bringing all of our trucks back home to Smithwell Dam. So let's see if we can bring it all in one piece. Uh, hopefully we will have enough fuel here so we can actually uh, go there in the first place. Should be good. So stay tuned. No tipping. That was a little bit too close to comfort. So yeah, this little guy has been doing really well up until now, but this is like the east that has been traversed a few times now. It's clear that it doesn't really have the umph. So I do think that when we go down to the farm this time, I'll be swapping over to the White Western Star to make sure that I have enough power to get through that. I do not want to get stuck. It would be completely awful. And I do think the White Western Star has more than enough power to get through all of the farm stuff. Uh, at least it has way better wheels than this place. Come on. Yeah, it's a really small interesting truck this. I spent a lot of time getting it, so it's... Uh, it's been in the making for quite some time and it's proven itself to be worthy. Especially from the fact that it's not using almost any fuel here. It is perfect. Couldn't, couldn't ask for anything more. So yeah, at the moment we have one truck that I bought myself. Uh, from the rules that I've set up for myself, I will not bring any of these trucks over to Alaska when I move there. So it's going to be really good if I can make enough money to get a full-size truck as well, not only a scout, because the Lodestar, while really good, it won't be able to actually do very much of the contracts, right? So the idea here is that I will try to make that work as good as possible and maybe get a pay star is what I'm looking at. Uh, if I'm not able to do that, I'm at least going to buy a fleet star that I can use over there. Because I do think that those are needed. Maybe I can even get the white western star. I'm not sure. I'm sure I will see eventually. So, uh, let's swap over here. Uh, we want to have the white western star. Ah, that's a stupid. I should left a little bit in this one. Um, I should be able to fix it later. I'll do it when I get back. So, White Western Star. We don't need to burn a bunch of fuel with your all wheel drive, so let's turn that off. Get over here, get into reverse, and let's hook up to this trailer. So yeah, you notice I play a lot in first person, that's something that I really do enjoy, so uh, I apologize if it doesn't give you the best viewing experience, but it's something that I really do enjoy myself, so we'll see if I figure out something to do about that. Probably not, I'll just continue the way I like to play. And that kind of did. And uh, yeah, I hope it's good enough for you. 
just so much more immersive when you can be like this. I really, really wish that things like Vipers worked and things like that. Uh, While I do use the third person view every now and then, it's more or less when I'm not doing anything else. So if I'm just trucking along, I might use the third person view. Or if I'm of course taking screenshots or anything like that, uh, they usually look a lot better in third person view. Makes for good thumbnails as well, so yeah, it's, it's cool, it's cool. Really like the game though. Spent a lot of time thinking of what to do next in this game, and that's usually a good sign with me if I'm playing the game, game in, my, in my head while I am not playing the game physically. That is usually something that can indicate a really good game, and I am most certainly doing that with this game. Yeah, the White Western Star is doing a lot better here, so happy I brought it, and I should have enough fuel afterwards to get over to the next petrol station and be able to bring that along, so I do think I made a good thing. So, there we go. 22k. I needed that. Let's see if we can get over to the train station right before the city and see if we can get some, some fuel from there. So I do want to try to fuel up all of these trucks before I go back to the garage. I like to have them fueled up in the garage to make sure that I have uh, everything available and ready to go when I need it. You never know when you end up in a situation where you need an additional truck and if they're out of petrol it's just annoying to go to, to the petrol station first. Let's get out of all wheel drive there. Oh no, please don't tell me I have to actually... Oh, I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up. I should have left Transtar in the actual fuel thingy, because I won't be able to do it now, right? Sucks. Oh well. Made it here at least. Um, anyway, you're gonna wanna load up the load star, so I could just bring that on. There we go. And stop this engine, and get the, this one. So done. Okay. And the load star. So yeah, I've been doing some work with my audio since last time, so hopefully it should be sounding a lot better now. Uh, I have been kind of adjusting my audio in the last uh, episodes with uh, the uh, post processing. Uh, but hopefully, oh my god, hopefully it should be a lot better now, uh, even without me having to do a bunch of post-processing. It takes a lot of time, so I have actually have a equalizer as well as some compressor on now, so hopefully that should sound a lot better and... Oh, come on, there's so much bumps here, and this one doesn't have the... the um, Race suspension, so I'm really worried of breaking it, which would absolutely suck. I think we get that. I think we are good. Yeah. Can I like cheat and go through the water here? No, it's not worth it. Even if I could. I tree. You are not welcome here anymore. And we don't want to run into any of the stumps, because that will be a disaster. And there we go. We are on our way. There should be no issue with the Lodestar. Should make it. What the 
fuck? Seriously? Who's that man? I think I need to take a shortcut here. I can probably just blow through this. Should be no issues. That star is hardly stopping for anything at this point. So yeah, for phase 4 we're looking at a lot of cool stuff, uh, can't wait for the towing platforms to come out, that is going to be so cool, uh, it's gonna make my life a lot easier not wanting to use any of the winches for actual travel, those towing platforms are going to be gold, cause while it works this way it is really hard. It is a real chore to get any any truck recoveries working a good way. But uh, it's a platform like that, I might just be able to actually do it. So that'll be cool. afraid of this trailer tipping over from some rocks or something. The fleet star is so tippy with that crane on it. It is disturbing. Come on. Almost not making it. I think I'm gonna have to put the hard, higher powered engine in this anyway. Last time I said it wasn't worth it, but I mean it's not using any fuel anyway, so I might as well put a more powerful engine in it. We'll be using a little bit more fuel, but hopefully it shouldn't impact it that much. This game is just so gorgeous. Look at these vistas, it's like... Shit. The color palette is this is so much better from the like earlier games of Mudrunner and Spin Tires and all of that. It is just so much better, it's like night and day. I have more than enough power to do it. Come on. I thought. Yeah. All good. And I think I want to swap these two around again to allow for the... It's just a little bit easier to actually pull with the... White Western Star because it's so much stronger. So let's see. Where you at, boy? There you are. Gosh, that front is mangled. Let's get into this guy. Let's detach this trailer. And then let's go forward a little bit. Oops. That is so dumb. Why did I do that? Let's see if this works. Yep. Perfect. Forward a little bit. Oh my god. 
I did not think that was that close. Or you learn. Let's not do the same thing again then. Okay. To reverse, we cut this guy. Go. Go. Fill up my fuel before I leave. Back this one out on the road again. Here we go. Come on. Oh my. It just come down. It's okay. It's okay. Be really efficient to get a truck that could both carry the logging trailer as well as a logging attachment as well. Be really nice, but I don't know. I'm afraid it's not gonna happen. Nice day, goodbye, says Black River. Thank you and goodbye. I will not come back. It's nice. I haven't seen that boat before. Look at that. It's really cute. Very nice. Very, very nice. Come on. I'm giving you a little bit of all-wheel drive. I can give you some all-wheel drive. Yeah, this one hardly has the power to pull this. It's really interesting. wonder what kind of engine I have in this played in a week so it would be it's, well it is surprising to see that it's really struggling with this guess it's heavier than I thought but if I'm still on the main kind of first engine on this then I guess I wouldn't have that much power to actually utilize for pulling this kind of stuff, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Now let's not tip over the truck at this point. Yeah, it just doesn't even go with that. What is going on? Am I stuck on a rock or something? Western Star, will you be able to bring this up here? I'm afraid you might have issues with it, but we'll see, we'll see. Not really are the best tires for this either. These off-road tires are really good at going off-road, but on tarmac they're lackluster or bust. At least they're not worth less like mud tires or something. So that's good, that's good. Come on. Like I said. This is really struggling actually. I don't think this is a traction issue. I think this is a power issue. Some heavier engines. I 
it definitely needs some heavier engines. Look at this, it's hardly moving. The fleet star into the garage. Impact trucks, stop the engine, get in the fleet star and go to the garage. I'm so glad I got this truck though. It's been doing absolutely great all this time. No complaints at all actually. It's nice. That is Black River completed from the very beginning to the very end. And now we can continue to Smithville Dam. And then we'll see where we're going from there. Uh, the interesting part here is that I have no clue where the P-16 is, which is the next truck that I'm kind of interested in. So, it's kind of a 50-50, a toss-up, whether I'll go to the right uh, place next time, or if I will be able to get to truck at the very end of the Michigan era, and yeah. Whichever one we decide to go with is the one that we are going with, no matter if there is a P-16 there or not. It's going to be really interesting. I do know that there is two trucks left still. One is the Twin Steer and then the P-16 as well. I do think there is a H-2, the Hummer as well. I have no clue where either of these trucks are, so it's going to be really interesting to see when we get to the next next map and decide what we can do going forward. First off, let's move to Smithville Town. I wish you could skip those scenes. Just turn them off. They become a really repetitive after a little while. Probably bring in the load star back as well. I would like to be completely done with uh, Black River part now. And once I have the load star back home, I won't feel like I need to go back there anymore. And that'll be a real nice end of check mark. Uh, finally. Completing that section of the game. Uh, do we have any of these actual free? We do have one at the very beginning here. So let's see if we can back this guy up into that one. That'll do. Yeah, I'll just hook this one up directly here. So I am going to have to bring this one. At some point, probably. Stop the engine, bring back to Black River and bring this one with us. No any mission here, no. To do right here. Let's bring this good guy back. Put some lights on. Make sure we are not driving in the dark. It's probably a good idea. Really wish they would implement a way for us to pay to just fix the cosmetic stuff on our trucks. Like the back bumper of this truck, for example, I would really like to get fixed, specifically since it's not actually damaged at the moment. If I had to pay some extra, like 500 or something, that would be fine. Um, I just wish I had an option to do it that didn't cost me like 2.5k, which is a bit excessive. Um, it's fine if the truck is like broken down anyway. But, uh, 
if not, I feel like I should have a more favorable option for that. Maybe even make it a special category, just like you have like wheels and engine and all of that. Just make one that is cosmetics or like body maybe and allow it it doesn't even have to like impact your your truck's performance at all just allow us to actually fix it up once we're done i like to go out feeling like i'm i'm leaving the garage with a fairly well kept truck and then coming back and seeing how utterly destroyed i've made it So yeah, yeah, it would be nice. I would enjoy that. Just bringing this one back. Maybe we can... Nah, I don't think I need to get any upgrades on this one. I think we're fine. I don't need an off-run gearbox. It's like very rarely that I get stuck with this, so... I much more prefer the speed of this balanced one. And the high way gearbox just doesn't seem to be well worth it. Maybe for the high gear, I guess. I could think of putting a high highway gearbox on this. We'll see. First off, we need to make it to the garage. It should not be an issue with this. What? I did not hit anything there. So dumb. This was just a few points, but it's like, come on. Not made of money, people. Interesting how they have a save screen of why am I in reverse? Okay. Um, there's a save screen for all our loading screen, I guess. Saying that truckers are the most endangered like occupation you can have. A lot of people are injured. And then there is one where it says that truckers are the least likely to be in an in an accident. Like what kind of issues do you have then? You roll yourself over with like cargo or what is the issue? I don't get it. That doesn't make sense to me, man. Okay. We are back to the garage, so that's good. That's good. That's nice. And let's see what we have here. We could put a better engine on this, but I doubt that will be worth it. Uh wheels I think I have the best one at the moment yeah just need a raised suspension to get something else I don't think I'll put that on here that would be nice that and that and and that and I do have some wheels on this as well as some spare parts it's more all around and I kind of like that. Thank you very much for watching today. We made it with all the trucks back, so that is awesome. Uh, next up we will continue with additional logging, now in Smithville Dam installed instead, so that is going to be super interesting. Uh, I have not done any of the logging missions that was going on in Smithville Dam, so this will be something completely new for me. Uh, if you like this, please give me a like on the video. Uh, if you would like to see anything more about SnowRunner or the uh, gameplay play that you've seen here, um, consider subscribing. That would be really nice of you. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye bye.